Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to generate images using Anytime. So let's begin. It's all in the together.ai website. Log in and if you go to models, you will see that there are paid as well as there are free. But we're aiming for image generation. So we scroll down, we go to the flux, Schnell free. Just click on it, you see it's completely free. Go to playground, go to image. Here you will select the model. As we said, we're gonna choose Schnell. We go there and we just click on API preview. You see, it shows you how to use the Python TypeScript, but what we're interested in is curve. Just copy it, go back to your N10. The first node should be an HTTP request. So add it and you don't have to do anything except click on input curl and paste here. Click import and it will fill it out automatically. Now, a few things. Where do you get the API? It's very simple. Just go back to together.ai, go to your profile, go to settings, and you will have your API key right here. So just copy it. Let's go back to ours. And the second is in the body, choose JSON, specify body using JSON, and just paste this here. You will find the command, the JSON, and everything in the community one day from now. So you just take this, you basically tell, hey, I'm gonna use this model, I want the prompt to be this, the width and height, the steps means how much time it's gonna take on this generation, the number, which should be between one and four, and the response format. So once you do that, since we pick four as the number, go add a split out. Once you add the split out node, just give it the, the fields should be data because that's what the HTTP request will input. Then we're going to go to edit field. Now, what this does is that if we run the workflow, as you can see, it has base 64 Athenic, but we want them into text. We want to turn them into a string, basically. So we give the name base 64 string and we just take this. Yes click and drag it and you will have it right there and finally we gotta convert that base 64 string into a file so add a convert node file add node just write convert file and you will have many options just move base 64 string to file and you will have this what you put in here is that the input field is base 64 and then data and once you run it we already ran it, you will see all your images right here so i said thank you why i did thank you is because stay with me guys we got to 1k subs thank you very much it made us really happy as you can see you have all your images they're good quality too but there are a few limitations one of the limitations is that you have uh, 10 images per minute that's the limit so you can't spam it so add a bait node in your workflow in your video so that about does it i hope you guys found this helpful again you will find all the resources in the community one day from uh, when the video is uploaded hit like subscribe comment down below thank you again for 1k subs we really appreciate it and uh, i'll be seeing you in the next video goodbye